In this video, let's have a quick overview about switch statement. Here we have declared an int variable n and we have accepted the value for it. Now we are going to have a switch statement which accepts n as the input and takes certain decisions based on the value of n. So if n's value is 1, we are going to print 1. If n's value is 2, then we are going to print 2. If it is of any other value, then we use the default case and we say not 1 or 2. So now let's run this code. So when we enter the value 1, uh, we assume that it will print only 1. But that will not be the case. Because it will print 1, 2, not 1 or 2. Because after it is printing 1, the flow will continue executing successive lines. So it prints 1 and then it prints 2 and then it prints not 1 or 2. So we need to have break statements at the end of each case. As default is the last case, we, we may or may not have the break statement, right? So now when we execute it, just one is printed. If we give the input as 2, then just 2 is printed. If we give some other input like 5, not 1 or 2 is printed. Another important thing to notice, we cannot duplicate the case. We cannot give 1 again and then say 1 again. So this will lead to compilation error because duplicate cases are not allowed. Here you can see duplicate case value previously used here. Another important point to notice, the default need not be the last statement. It can occur anywhere in the case scenario. So it can even occur here. But when you are having it here, please remember to include break. Thanks for watching guys.